All right. So this is an interesting topic which we are going to looking into in this session. Test fixtures. I'm Kumar and welcome to my channel on tech and tutorials. Test fixtures actually refer to the mechanism PyTest provides us or allows us to get ready for doing the actual test. And also it, it helps us cleaning after the test functions are run. Fixtures are nothing but just functions that are run by PyTest before and actually after the actual test functions. The code in the fixture can do whatever you want to do. You can actually use fixtures to get data set for the test to work on. And you can actually put fixtures in individual test files. If you want the fixture to be used only for those tests in that file. Also, you can have fixtures in the directory and which needs to be defined in a file called conftest.py files. And if you define it in the conftest.py file, it's, it can be used by all the test files in that directory and also in the subdirectories. In this session, actually, let us look into some of the basics of fixtures. And in the same file, we'll see how to use fixtures in the same file. And we will see how to use fixtures in multiple. There are two ways of using fixtures. We will look into that. And we will also see how to return, use the return data from the fixture. Okay, so let us start by creating a test file in our PyTest topics. New and let us create fix shares 01. And uh, so we have to import PyTest. Let's do that first. And then let us define our fixture function. So we can actually name anything the fixture function. So let me actually name it as server underscore list and so this is going to be our fixture so we need to mark this as fixture so we have this pytest decorator and we can actually do this so this is how actually you define a function as a fixture pytest dot fixture decorator and then we since we are going to work with list in this session we just i'm just going to initialize a list in this fixture and we're going to work on that in our test function so let me actually do a print statement first here in fixtures and this is just to identify that we are uh, that we are inside the fixture when we run the test we are going to see these print statements and we will know that our fixture is getting called so this is just to show you the feature of the fixture that for each test it is going to be getting called and then let me actually define a list and uh, let me try to make it fast and come back up okay so i have just defined a list initialized a list here city with uh, some city names and i am actually returning this city from this fixture return city this list from this from this fixture so when i'm going to call it in a test function this is going to return this list of cities so, I mean, it's not mandatory to actually return something from the fixture. Most of the time, people would be initializing whatever DB connections or driver connections or something like that, opening files and all those things. And then, of course, the, there is an option of returning something from the fixture as well. We are just trying to see if it returns something and how we are going to use that in our test. So next, let us actually write our test function. Let us name it. And this is our test function here now. So test underscore get item and then the setup list. Setup list is our fixture, which we need to pass as a argument to our test function. And if you hover over this fixture, you can see that by test topic test fixture, the definition shows up in this mouse hover on top of this setup list. So let me quickly write down some sessions within this test function and then we can go through them. Okay, so what we are doing here is we're just trying to print a statement here, setup list and once the fixture has been called and in this test function we are using it as the argument setup list and within this test function we're just trying to print and see the setup list. So this is a list and if you are aware about the list you will see that one two three the list values of one uh, the starts with zero so one two three like one two and it's going to give us actually uh, the two values london and riyadh 
So this first print statement is just to show you that we are able to get something from the list. And then next, moving on to this next statement, the set setup list which gives us a value of New York. Since this is a list and the zeroth value is New York, we are going to see it. And this assertion is going to be a pass. And then the last uh, assert statement here is the, so in list, we can actually have three arguments here. The first one is first offset from where we want to start. And the second value goes in the last uh, value up till what value we want and the third value or parameter we can uh, define the step what is the step value with which uh, we are going to get from this list so if we run this setup underscore list and this two in the third parameter here if we will see that it takes from the zeroth value the empty means everything so zero till the last element so and then the step value is two here so it's going to get the zeroth value and then the uh, first second value and then the last value so every alternate values it's going to get starting from the first one so let us run this and see that it is working fine okay now let us look into this output here so our test session starts here and then the pi cache and collecting collected one item and then if you see here the test fixture 01 test get item which is of course it, it got passed and you see here there's a statement in fixtures which we have defined here print so what is happening here is this fixture is getting called and then our test is being run and this print statement yeah and then this print statement if you see here it's getting printed here london rear it's not properly formatted here you know while we are running from here but but it's okay we can see that uh, it's getting printed and all so the print statement gets printed here and then this is the past uh, for this test function here and uh, both our assertions are okay so actually that's how you define the fixture and get that call from our test function and then use the return value from the fixture and use it within our test function it's not mandatory to have a return by, uh, value from the fixture by the way it, it's just you for initializing some values and all it will automatically get called once you define the fixture in here we are seeing an example with the return but it's not mandatory as i said okay so next let us look in another test function and let me just write it so super fast here so that you can just go through it once i have uh, done written it and uh, okay so this is our next test here i'm just uh, trying to check for the reverse list so this is not fully complete i just wanted to show you here the assert statement setup list and the step value here is minus two and if you do a minus two in the step value it's going to start reading from the and and you see here it's going backwards like mumbai and then it goes to the to the next uh, value of riyadh and then uh, new york and it starts going from the back side so we are going to use a similar way of reversing this list and for that let me actually define a function here so i've just written a function here list reverse my reverse list and i'm using the reverse function of python so basically this function what it does is it will reverse the list whatever with what you call it so it's going to reverse this list and then it's going to return the same list so i'm going to use this function and let me actually add an asset here let me just copy this minus one so this is another way of reversing a list it's a tricky way of actually reversing a list if you put a minus one is it's going to start reading from the backwards and give us the reverse list so it's going to give us mumbai singapore riyadh and london and new york so since we have defined our function here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call my function my reverse and i'm going to pass in this parameter setup list so that it gives us a reverse list or whatever we pass and uh, on the left hand side the actual value we are passing in the setup list and then we are using this trick of a list to reverse the list and this is going to be a pass so let us try to run this okay so it got passed here so test reverse list in fixture and passed and yeah this is fine now so now let us do one thing let us actually run this whole module and let us see that this uh, in fixture is getting called twice now we have actually two tests and each each of our test is calling the same fixture and 
let us go to terminal and actually pi test minus v uh, minus k and actually let me fix t u r e s zero one we, we let's use the minus k option and actually let us see that what happens so yep this is two test run and it got passed but we cannot see our print statements so for that let us put this minus s option and we should be seeing this um, so uh, this was the first test and in fixtures it called so our fixture got called and then there was a print statement in our first test test get item setup list and london real it prints that and then it's passed and then our next test starts in here and and then our test reverse list starts in here and then the in fixture the fixture function gets called in fixtures you see here and then the pass output here so both our assertions are okay so that's pretty much about the fixtures the basics about fixtures how to call it from a single how to define a fixture in a single file and how to call it next actually let us look into another way of calling the fixture we have seen how to call the fixture from the test function by defining it as a argument actually we have another way of calling the fixture by defining it as a marker so this is how pytest.mark.use fixtures this is specifically for calling the fixture you can actually call the fixture using this decorator mark decorator pytest.mark use fixture and let us actually run this let us actually add a test here so test use fixture demo and we don't need to define it in the function test function argument and let us assert so let us actually just make it as uh, one because two one just pass it here so let's see that our in fixture this function is getting called we are actually not going to use the setup underscore list because using this way of calling the fixture has its own drawback we cannot get anything from the return statement this return is not going to work in this scenario where we are using with the uh, markers so let us actually run our test from here let us right click this and run test okay so you see here this test got passed anyway uh, i said one equals to one is uh, should be passed and then uh, this is our test and you see that in fixtures the fixture is getting called but we cannot use this setup underscore list within within this test so for example i am actually trying to let us actually try to print this setup list and let us actually use the same thing so if you see in our first test we should be getting a new york here but in this case let us actually try to run this test and see what actually happens it should fail okay so now you see here type error function object is not sus subscriptable so this is the problem you cannot actually use the return value from the fixture if you are using these decorator way of calling the fixture so in this session we have seen how to define fixtures in the same file and use it we have also seen two ways of calling the fixtures one is from the test function and one is defining it as a decorator on top of the function so that's all hope it was helpful to you thanks a lot for watching